Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a very recent college graduate who loves living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. And in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a week in my life where I graduated from UC Berkeley. As always, this video is basically a food vlog. I'm gonna show you lots of easy and healthy recipes. I'm gonna give you fast food burger reviews with my brother. And we're gonna have a really wholesome week together in California before I go back to Mexico for the summer and then maybe move to Europe. Don't forget to subscribe because I post videos every Sunday and go grab a snack and enjoy the video. Good morning. So I am a firm proponent of pajama workouts. So what you do is you wake up, you roll out of bed, you chug some water, and then you work out, but like in cozy clothes. Especially with Pilates, you don't sweat so much. So pajama workouts. Let's do one to start this day off right. My mom had the most gorgeous avocado toast for breakfast and I actually have a full video on my YouTube channel where I show everything she eats in a day. Then I met up with a friend and we went to the sauna for a nice little wellness activity. And then I went back home and I made the most basic lunch for my brother and I because we had absolutely no groceries. So I just made a super simple salad and some filet mignon steak because we are bougie. Bougie? Bougie. That you cannot serve this. Why? It's burnt. It's not burnt. It's not even like, a, it's not a good crisp. We're out of salt. <laughs> this is mine because that's more salad. Yeah, so it's going to be not very salty. My parents just went to buy groceries, so tonight... Oh, I was like, what the f are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> My parents went to buy groceries, so tonight we're actually going to cook something fun. Also, we've been planning our Europe trip all day. I'll tell you guys later about it, but this is perfectly cooked. Yum. I'll see you guys Yum. for dinner. two favorite fruits and they're all in season. Taste test. Whoa, those cherries are amazing. So look at these, this peach. Oh my and god. And so, that is idea might be good. Oh my god. Good Is there a way to moderate to salivate the fruit? What was it called? Got the, got the oil or es? I feel like we're gonna need at least like two or three full days in the south of France though. Wake up, are you up? Yeah. Oh, well come be social. We gotta brush up on our Duolingo. Those aren't figs, bro. Papa said figs and I was like, like some fresh figs he's gonna eat, wow. like to begin his meal, like from France. Fake Newtons is what he meant. You are not funny. He said you are still salty for your failures. I feel not. Okay, now it's finally time for a wholesome family dinner. And I used to film these all the time back when I lived in Cabo, Mexico. But of course, with college, I've been in Berkeley for months. But now that I'm about to graduate, I'm finally reunited with my family. And I'm gonna get to film my favorite type of video, which is just super chill cooking vlogs where I take you through what I eat 
and all of my delicious and easy healthy recipes. So yeah, I'm so excited for the summer to get to be in Cabo and go to the beach every day and make my smoothies and healthy recipes. And please comment what videos you guys wanna see while I'm in Cabo because I only have a couple weeks there and I definitely wanna show you recipes and what my family eats. Maybe my brother will be up to do like a fitness challenge for you guys, I don't know, but I have so many ideas. And also you guys probably heard that conversation with my dad, but we're gonna do a family road trip in Europe. Please let me know in the comments what places I should go to because I'm kind of overwhelmed and I've never been to Europe before and I am so excited to just show you everything we eat. By the way, here I'm sauteing some mushrooms with butter and garlic, but obviously the mushrooms were totally overflowing here, so instead I kind of cooked them like steaks. I don't know if any of you guys like to watch Korean cooking vlogs that are like ASMR style, but they always cook mushrooms this way, so I was very excited to try them. And now for the main star of the show, well actually the potatoes are the star, but the salmon is a good second dish. We've got some lemon and garlic marinated salmon. This salmon is locally caught in Santa Cruz, and whenever I have animal protein, I really want to make sure that it's the highest quality possible, just so it's sustainable to support local, and also because the quality is so much better when you buy local. And now we have the true star of the show, which are these super flavorful potatoes. The trick is to add tons of lemon juice to them, as well as some salt and pepper after baking them, and they're basically like flavor bombs. They are so good, and the taco seasoning totally makes it. Here I am making a plate for one of my family members. I forgot who ate this, but we definitely had like seconds and thirds of everything. It was a wonderful dinner, and the next few days kind of passed by in a blur because we were looking forward to my graduation. On one of the days, my mom made us these beautiful breakfast plates with leftover potatoes and eggs and bacon and toast. And we also got takeout from my favorite vegetarian restaurant in Santa Cruz, which is Dharma's. My dad got some pesto pasta and we got these brown rice, tofu and vegetable bowls with the best tahini sauce. It's just so good. If you guys don't know, I grew up in Santa Cruz and I would always eat here as a kid. Now it's time for graduation day. Are you guys ready? Because I don't know if I am. Let's make a delicious breakfast. The ASMR portion of the video is over. We're back to the voiceover because it is time to move out of my last college apartment ever. We had so much work to do, so we took multiple breaks and luckily I had my mom and my dad and my brother to just lug everything out for me. And while I was at the apartment, I had to film one last recipe, but this will be in next week's video actually. They were sweet potato brownies and they turned out so fudgy and delicious. College graduation was in two hours at this point. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stress bake something because that's just something that I love to do. Look at that fudgy. Absolutely delicious. Here's my apartment. We're leaving it all empty and now it is finally time to graduate. I grabbed my last bag of things from my apartment and let's do like a cute little montage. I don't know. I feel like it should be a montage moment. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy yeah, the peace of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all first mcdonald's experience in mexico we went to a couple birthday parties at burger king but never mcdonald's so all right taste test this is gonna be a fire burger review but right, have you guys seen the tap seen it no don't put that. <laughs> 
You can't. This is no longer oh, my vlog. God. It's like 90% stuff that you God. <laughs> I just asked for a classic cheeseburger, my dude. Ooh, That's got some is. relish. I don't relish eating that. <laughs> Rank it in terms of like Shake Shack and Five Guys. Dude, it's so bad that I'm not even gonna eat it. He didn't like it. Let's try nuggets. So my brother actually loved these nuggets. He gave them like an eight out of 10. And the next day was our last day in California before going back home to Cabo. We decided to go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium for the day, which is like a really cool conservation slash aquarium place. And we used to go here all the times as babies. So it was very fun to go back and just look at all these cool jellyfish. And we also got to see like Finding Nemo and Dory. Ugh, so cute. After the aquarium, we also walked around this cute little town nearby called Carmel, which is like a really beachy town, but it was very cold and windy. And guys, what we've all been waiting for. It has been months since I've been in Mexico, so let's have a very wholesome and relaxing day back home. I'm finally back in Cabo. This feels so weird. I mean, I'm a whole year older. I've graduated, and I don't know what I want to do with my summer, but here we are. So let's make a smoothie for breakfast, and I'm going to test out this new protein powder that I got that's made with crickets. So yeah, a cricket smoothie, if you will. The protein powder is a little bit powdery. You know, like when it feels a little bit grainy tasting, but give it like a seven or eight out of 10. And now we're gonna do my favorite thing in the world and go to the gym and get started on like my whole Cabo regular schedule, which is my favorite. There's really nothing like being at home. Whenever I'm in Cabo, my daily schedule is just elite. I love it so much because honestly, having a schedule is so important to me. So usually I'll wake up, have a delicious breakfast, maybe film a recipe video for TikTok, and then I'll head to the gym. Today, I did a one hour hike on the treadmill followed by 30 minutes of Pilates and stretching and foam rolling. But other days I'll do one hour of lap swimming and usually I would be surfing, but I've actually had an injured back for a couple months now. Or actually not a couple months. It's almost a year because I injured my back when I was in Hawaii. So yeah, it's been crazy that I haven't been able to surf, but I've been doing my regular workouts to stay strong and energized. And here my mom is picking some veggies to make some dinner. I didn't film everything I ate today, but what I did film was me making these delicious five ingredient Thin Mint cookies. The recipe for these will be on my Instagram shortly at Jazz Tyler, so go follow me there because I post daily healthy recipes and what I eat in a day. But yeah, these Thin Mint cookies are so good, so easy to make, and they're actually vegan. Of course, Thin Mints aren't Thin Mints without drizzling lots of melted dark chocolate on them, and I think I ate like three or four of these, maybe the whole plate. I think my brother had one of them, but I ate most of them. Then for dinner, I grilled some steak Paraguayan style because that's where my dad's from, where we literally just add salt to some delicious grilled meat, and I also served it with some vegetables to just have a really simple dinner. And yeah, that's that's what my family was craving. That's what I was feeling too. And I love simple dinners like this. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next Sunday. Bye. Love you guys.